Hey guys, Joe here to give you your weekly encouragement. And so with Habit Force starting up now, we've been reading through the Bible and uh, re recently read uh, 1 Chronicles 28. And so this chapter is when David's giving his, his instructions to Solomon on how to build the temple. This is the temple where the Ark of the Covenant is going to be laid to rest permanently. This is where God is going to be. It's a, kind of a big deal to build this. And God had given David all these instructions and like laid out the specific plans and everything to David. But in the end, God's like, no, you can't be the one to build this because you have shed too much blood. You're a warrior. I've chosen your son, Solomon, to do it instead. And now, so David, he's nearing the end of his life, the end of his reign, and he's setting up Solomon to take over and be the next king. And so in this chapter is David explaining the plans that God has given him about the temple. And, I mean, I'm reading through this, and, like, there's a lot of details. Like, it goes from, like, the specific make, uh, like, or the specific way to build the different rooms on the inside and the outside and how to make the things that are going to be going inside the rooms and, like, the amount of gold and silver going into making these things. Like, it is specific, and I'm pretty sure they left out, like, 99% of the details that David told Solomon in, like, in that real moment. And if I was Solomon, I would, if I was in his shoes, I'd probably be, like, feeling really overwhelmed listening to this and like i mean i guess i didn't have boots probably sandals like quaking in my sandals i guess if that was him um just hearing the, the details to go into this and knowing that this is not just like a house for someone not even like my own house this is a house a resting place for god they have temples throughout the city where they go and sacrifice offerings to God and be with him there. But this is going to be the temple. It's a lot of pressure on, like, making sure this is right. And so after David gives all these instructions, David says this in verse 20. Says, be strong and courageous and do the work. Don't be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. He will see to it that all the work related to the temple of the Lord is finished correctly. And I'm reading that, and I feel like there would be, like, a sense of relief. See, God gave Solomon an extremely big task. But... Just because God's asking him to do this doesn't mean he's going to do it alone. David's saying that, hey, this is big, but don't worry, don't fret, because God's going to be there with you through it all. As long as you do the work, God is going to be there. He is going to help you. He's not going to fail you. He's not going to forsake you in this moment. You are doing the plan that God put ahead of you, so God is going to be there for you. I can imagine that, you know, for myself, where I'm in a season in my life where life is nonstop and life is busy. Um, and there are times I feel overwhelmed because I have a mountain of stuff I have to get done. But then I'm reminded that I'm on this path because of God. Because God, this is the plan for my life right now. This is the calling on my life right now. God put me here. He's not going to leave me or forsake me in this moment where I'm feeling overwhelmed. In fact, as long as I do the work, as long as I'm still following the path that God's laid out in front of me, God's going to be there. He's going to meet me through it all. He's going to protect me. He's going to guide me. He's going to provide for me. He's going to strengthen me. He's going to be there no matter what because I'm following the will that he has put on me. He's following the calling that God has put on me. You just have to trust God. And the amazing thing is that as long as you do it, as long as you do the work and you're following God, it'll be done right. Because God's going to make sure it's done right and perfect in the way that it's supposed to be done. So whether that you're going through that season in your life where you're busy and life is insane and you're feeling overwhelmed, 
just trust in God. Know that God has put you in this path for a reason. And God's going to see you through it. He's going to be there for you in those lowest of lows and those highest of highs. He's going to be there with you. You just got to trust in him and know that he will be there. Really, that's how it is. He's going to be there. He's going to protect you. He's going to guide you. He's going to make sure everything is done right. You just got to have trust in him and knowing that he's got you in his hands. I hope this encourages you.